The human brain is designed to keep you alive, yet it makes many systematic and therefore predictable mistakes. Let's take a closer look at judgment and decisions so you can understand how your brain works. Meet Steve. He's a skinny, calm guy with glasses. He's tidy and he likes Mozart. Do you think he's rather a truck driver or a librarian? Well, if you think like most people, then you'll assume that Steve is a librarian. After all, he appears to be the perfect stereotype. But there are more than 10 times more truck drivers than librarians, so chances are pretty high that he's one of them. Your brain works with the stuff right in front of your eyes and tends to neglect the invisible facts. Stereotypes are useful in daily life, they keep things simple but they are also the foundation of prejudice and discrimination. To understand thinking, let's assume there are two systems working in your brain. System 1 works intuitively. It takes care of simple tasks like detecting the source of a noise, estimating distances between objects, or calculating 2 plus 2. It lets you read short headlines just by looking at them, System 1 runs automatically, fast, and effortlessly. System 2, however, is a lazy system, only activated on demand. You use it for more advanced calculations, like 17 times 24, to search through a crowd for a specific face, or for comparing different washing machines. Most fallacies develop when System 1 jumps to a conclusion without asking rational System 2 for its opinion. Here's an example. Meet Emma. She's in her early 30s, single and very intelligent. When she studied, she was interested in discrimination and social justice. Would you rather think that she's a bank teller or that she's a bank teller and a feminist? In a test, students judge the second option to be more likely. But that's wrong because two incidents can't be more probable than only one of them but the students neglected the facts because they were confronted with a stereotype. Stereotypes seem consistent, therefore you jump to conclusions. Because when the story fits, System 2 is too lazy to check on the details. Test yourself. Is it more likely that an English word starts with the letter K or that the letter K is in the third position of the word? There are three times more words with a K as the third letter. You probably didn't expect that because you replaced the original question with a more available one. And first letters come to mind more easily than third letters. Replacing questions is handy because you never have to feel clueless. But you're often led to wrong conclusions. For example, you answer this question, depending on this one, which is a different question. Many important decisions are made by unconsciously answering an easier question. Things often seem obvious and explicit, while different context leads to different perception. A familiar story is way easier to memorize, therefore the human brain strives for coherence. The sentence, the king died, then the queen died, won't stick as much as, the king died, then the queen died from sorrow. Your mind will twist, overinterpret, and reduce reality to get a coherent story. Because sustaining doubt is harder work than sliding into certainty. The human brain is not so different from the one people had thousands of years ago. Our ancestors lived in a much simpler but dangerous world. Fast reactions were essential to survive, long thinking, not so much. Today, you live in a complex world. It has developed much faster than human brains have developed. But you can learn to detect certain patterns and be more careful in your judgment. It takes some work, but it can lead you to better decisions. If you want to learn more about fantasies, please subscribe to stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.